Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. In this video, as the title says, I am going to share with you three completely unsolicited YouTube channel recommendations. Now, while we're all stuck inside the house during this lockdown, quarantine, self-quarantine, mandatory quarantine, whatever reason you are staying indoors is, I know a lot of people are getting bored and maybe you're looking for some new YouTube videos to watch or some new channels to discover, and I thought it would be fun to just throw a couple out there that I really enjoy watching that I'm excited every time that they upload a new video. I got the idea for this video from my brother-in-law who has a blog that he posts on and every once in a while one of his posts will be unsolicited book recommendations. I thought that was a really cool idea to just kind of throw some good books out there and he goes into detail about each of the books that he recommends and I was like that's actually kind of fun so I wanted to do that but with videos and with YouTube channels. I thought I would give you guys three different channels that I am personally subscribed to that I watch and I've tried to keep them fairly different from each other because I know not everybody has the same tastes in channels to watch but these three I personally really like and I thought I would share them with you. Jumping right in, the very first channel that I'd recommend is Gifted Guitars by Chris Ballinger. Now Chris Ballinger is a YouTuber. He has a family channel that he runs with. It's him and his wife and their four kids. Five kids. And he recently started a channel of his own called Gifted Guitars. In this channel, he takes guitars and builds them from scratch, basically, and gifts them to people, hence the name, Gifted Guitars. He walks you through the entire process from beginning to end, from the very first guitar that he bought, like the starter kit for like putting together your own guitar, all the way to completing it and personalizing each guitar for the person he is giving them to. And he's made guitars for different YouTubers, like his sister Colleen Ballinger and his sister Rachel Ballinger. He's made a guitar for Jojo Siwa that he made to look like one of her signature bows. And it's just really, really cool going through and watching step by step how he does each one of these guitars, how he does each process, what he learns through it, because in a lot of these episodes he makes mistakes and he acknowledges the mistakes and then he says how he learned from the mistakes and what he did to better himself and it's really really cool watching this series go from trial and error and making mistakes and having to problem solve on the spot and then I also love reactions so getting to see everybody's reactions when they open the guitar because one of the things that I love the most about this is he does not post anything about the guitar until he has gifted it to that person already. So it is a complete surprise for whoever he's gifting this guitar to. Then he starts releasing the videos about the process of making it. I myself am a music lover and I play guitar and I'm always trying to find more ways to be creative. So I personally love learning about guitars through this channel and learning the different ways that you can tweak a guitar to make it sound different. And everything he does is electric guitar because acoustic guitar is a realm of its own if you're wanting to like paint it and customize it and it's just very difficult to do. Whereas an electric guitar, you can add paint and colors and things to and design it and make it look cool and you don't have to worry that much about the sound changing because the sound is all on the wires and the mechanics of it. So the body itself, you can paint and change and cut and shape to be whatever you want it to be, essentially. Highly recommend if you are into any sort of cool project type videos or music or guitars specifically. The second channel I would recommend is by a girl called Mariah Elizabeth, and she does arts and crafts. Her biggest series on her channel is Fixing Your Squishies, where she takes those squishy toys that like, they're kind of like stress balls, but they like have slow rises, so you can't just like to them. It's more like a and then wait five minutes for them to like fully form back and, and squish them again. I've never owned a squishy, I don't know. But I found her channel through these squishy makeovers. Basically what she does, she gets squishies in her PO box from subscribers who send them to her and they're either old, unused, unwanted, or completely destroyed. And she fixes them and turns them into something completely different from what they started out as. And it's really cool to watch. She does a lot of arts and crafts and painting on her channel and 
She loves rainbows, loves sprinkles, very colorful person, but her editing style is probably my absolute favorite. Her videos are heavily edited, but in a way that makes it so funny. She has done all sorts of projects from painting for 24 hours to painting shoes. She's painted on paint palettes, on flowers, and she has a ton of merchandise around the squishies that she's recreated. She's incredibly creative. She is a very good artist. Some of her videos, she will show some of her like sketching out design ideas. She's very good at drawing and you almost have to be when you're doing all of this painting and design. Most all of her videos have a lot of rainbow in them. The majority of them have sprinkles in them. So if you are somebody who is very much against lots of color, this may not be the channel for you, but it also may be a good way to open your eyes to the wondrous world of rainbows. So highly recommend her channel if you are into arts and crafts and painting and creating new things from old things. And the last channel I am recommending in this unsolicited video is The Odd Ones Out. This is an animated channel by a guy named James, and he only posts about once a month, but it's because animated videos take a very long time to make and to edit and to create. And he has a whole team of people who volunteer their time to help make these videos happen. But like I said, his videos are all animated with his character. It's, again, it's comedy. It is very, very funny. Most all of his videos, he is telling stories of things that has happened to him in the past. Funny stories, some of his most popular stories I think are from when he worked at Subway or as he calls it, Subway. And The Odd Ones Out is actually the first animation YouTube channel that I subscribed to. And through that, I have found several others that I really like as well that I might talk about in a different video. But today we're focusing on the odd ones out. James's drawing style is very unique to him. There are no other YouTubers that I know of that animate like he does. And he has a mix of very cartoony and sometimes very creepily realistic drawing styles that he likes to combine at really well-timed comedic points throughout his videos. Every once in a while he will post a drawing challenge with some of his other animation friends on YouTube and they will go through and just basically be trying to draw things from memory and so you get to actually see the process of them drawing some different things. I really like that because I'm not good at drawing by any stretch so I really like being able to see and I can appreciate the talent and the time that it takes to draw something well and to draw and to know your style and sort of your niche of drawing, if that makes sense. Again, I'm not a drawer, so I don't know. I have no idea. But I can appreciate the skill level that James has. Plus he has a really adorable little dog named Floof who makes an appearance in a lot of his videos and I mean, it's, the, the animation's adorable. She's a very cute little dog. So those are the three unsolicited recommendations for different YouTube channels that I would recommend in this video. Let me know in the comments if you already watch any of these three YouTubers. And also let me know if you wanna see more unsolicited, well, I guess if you're asking for it, it would then be solicited recommendations. Maybe nobody will ask for this and I can keep the title true and I will do an unsolicited part two just because I want to and because nobody asked for it, but we'll find out. Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you do watch any of these channels and if there's anything you would have added to describing them that you think might appeal to somebody else. And I think especially in this time of being stuck inside for so long, we, I think it's really good to find YouTubers that can help trigger a creative spark inside of you that will get you wanting to do things and to creating things rather than just watching YouTubers for hours on end on the couch, but to watch a video of somebody making a guitar or painting a toy that was all broken and now is put back together and looking totally cool or drawing really cool comics and animating them and to say, hey, I wanna try doing that and to give it a go or to say, I definitely can't make a guitar from scratch, but I have one in the other room that I haven't touched in two years. So maybe I'll pick that up. Just getting your creative juices flowing a little bit to see what you can do to pass the time in a bit 
more creative of a way. So I hope you guys have a great day and I hope, oh, no, nope, messed up my own outro. I hope you guys have had a great day. I hope you have a great day. Stay productive and I will see you in the next video. Bye.